All right, hey, I welcome to my phenol paracetam video. Um, I'm using uh, <clears throat> Powder City's phenol paracetam. It is in a uh, hundred milligram capsules, and um, I've heard that it tastes really bad. So I'm glad I found some capsules, uh, but I never tasted it myself. So anyway, um, I'm excited because this is the first Rastam that I have tried. I jumped right in. If you know anything about Rastams, this is actually supposed to be one of the more potent ones. So um, I, I certainly wasn't disappointed. I don't have anything to compare it to in terms of Rastams, but uh, well, I'll tell you about it. So let's jump right into it. Uh, as usual, I am going to start with some chemistry and pharmacology about uh, this substance. So, uh, let's see, I get situated. Uh, get up my whiteboard. All right, so ignore this over here for a sec. And we're going to look at uh, this uh, other one over here, let's say. Now, I'm going to cover this up down here and uh, just. It, Look at what's above my hand. This molecule, as you see it, is paracetam, regular old-fashioned paracetam. In case you can't see this well because uh, of my sloppiness, this is an, an N, so it's a nitrogen atom there, and this is NH2 off to the side. The rest should be clear. All right, so, all right, you ready? Woo! This phenol group down here is all that's added to paracetam. Now, this whole thing is phenylparacetam. So if you notice, there's this other whole one over here. It's almost exactly the same. And uh, the only way these differ is in this down here. It's how the phenyl group is attached. So these are two different, uh, I guess, like isomers of um, phenylparacetam. Exactly the same, except in how this... Uh, one of these... So these are like two-dimensional drawings of a three-dimensional molecule. But... Um, in this version, the phenyl group is kind of, uh, it, you can imagine it going back into the board, and in this one, it's sort of coming out, okay? So, there's just different orientations of how the phenyl group attaches, and they have um, different uh, actions. They're, they, they, they react, they um, have different, like, you know, affinities for the receptors that they work on and so forth, so... Um, there is some relevance there, but uh, most paracetam, phenylparacetam that you buy like this, uh, unless it says otherwise, is going to be what we call a racemic mixture of the two, which means it's about you know, just a 50-50 mix of the two. So, um, Let's see. Uh, with that being said, uh, what is some of the pharmacology? Um, they, um, phenylparacetam uh, downregulates... Uh, nicotinic receptors, NMDA receptors, and uh, it upregulates uh, or increases the density of uh, D1, D2, and D3, which are all different types of dopamine receptors. Which is interesting because, you know, we love dopamine. Dopamine is usually associated with some really good shit, but anyway, we'll go straight right into the effects from there, and um, the effects, it has... Um, some anxiolytic, uh, antidepressant, um, anti-amnesic properties. It's very good. It's good for preventing uh, cognitive decline, and it's good as a performance enhancer and for increasing resistance to the cold. And definitely one of the most important aspects of it <coughs> is the psychostimulant aspect. Um, very, very, I mean, there's nothing subtle about it. It's a, uh, it is a known psychostimulant. Uh, so, um, let's see. It, uh, now, what it doesn't do, um, it, well, I mean, there at least the research isn't there at this point to suggest that it's a great new a cognitive boost for somebody who's perfectly healthy already. Now, a lot of people who are taking it are taking it with that in mind and because of the psychostimulant properties it probably enhances the placebo effect and it's very easy to imagine that it's doing something for you cognitively but 
the research isn't there. In fact, to my knowledge, at this point, there's only been one study done. It's been done with rats looking at this. And um, regular racemic phenylprazotam uh, failed to give a cognitive boost to the healthy rats. So, I'm um, sorry to burst your bubble. I'm not, I mean, it's a great substance, obviously, for these other reasons, but it's just not one of them. So, um, how would I suggest taking it? I would suggest taking it, uh, first off, tolerance is a big issue. So, you don't, as a rule of thumb, I would say take it no more than once a week. It definitely, if you come right out of the starting blocks with this stuff, just taking it every single day, you're going to build up a tolerance. Uh, you, you'll easily notice tolerance issues within the week. So, uh, be careful. Uh, it's not going to be dangerous. It's just a matter of, uh, losing effectiveness. So, um, my personal experience with phenylparacetam is, um, yeah, it definitely, you, it jacked me up. Uh, it's, it's a strong, it's pretty good stimulant. I like it. And it's not like, again, it's not like a jittery stimulant. Uh, it's, when I say psychostimulant, I mean, you know, the type of thing that you feel more in your head. Um, it's, uh, being used as a pre-workout, I don't know, it probably has, uh, probably, you know, something with that mind-body uh, sort of interface, mind-body connection. Uh, but you don't feel, I don't, at least I don't feel jittery when I take it, so it, it's more of a, a you know, a, a head thing, but, um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to end up using it as a pre-workout. I uh, uh, it's banned. It's actually banned by professional organizations for you know like profession like organized sports because it you know it's known as a performance enhancer that much. So uh, you know it's good because you know, they ban all the good shit, right? So uh, yeah, I mean definitely something like as a pre-workout to, to try. Um, I think I'm actually, <clears throat> I use coffee as a pre-workout right now, so I think because caffeine has its own tolerance issues, the way I'm going to end up using this is once a week as a pre-workout. And um, so that'll give me some, some stuff to rotate. And um, I like it. Uh, definitely. Well, also, the other thing, I don't tolerate the cold real well, and I use coffee for this too, so... Uh, it's gonna have it'd be nice to like experiment with this uh, as a way to help tolerate the cold. Haven't had a lot of chance at this point in time. It's like spring into summer. It's crazy, uh, but um, yeah. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I was, <coughs> um, I'm going to uh, just end up using this as a. Uh, Pre-workout, maybe it's for that. Take some of the burden off coffee. Uh, I use, use coffee for a lot of things, so it's it's just going to be great. Something to cycle with that. Uh, it's it's a great stimulant. So anything that you really want to think of using a, a stimulant for, yeah, uh, you you can uh, consider phenylparacetam. Uh, I do recommend it. Definitely recommend it. Um, it's it's a legit stimulant and it's pretty safe. And the, the only real contraindication that I know of, you, if you have kidney problems, you probably shouldn't take it. Because uh, the racetams, this goes for all the racetams. It affects the permeability of your of of, the, of the, pretty much every membrane I think in your body, and your kidneys depend on that uh, very much, and you cause some problems uh, with the permeability. So. Um, if you have kidney issues, I'm sorry, don't take it. Uh, people with kidney problems and people who are pregnant sucks if you like any, you know, if you like drugs, because there's a lot of stuff that you can't have, but anyway, um, phenylparacetam, um, I recommend it. Um, not a lot to say about it because it's, you know, I'm trying to keep it science-based and there's not a whole lot that's been done on it, but, um, we do know it works, like, and you know, it's I can tell you from personal experience, you can feel it working. Uh, so uh, if you know anything about it, if you uh, have tried it, uh, let me know. Um, let's talk about phenylparazetam. And if you have again, if you haven't tried it, uh, 
give it a whirl. I like it, and uh, I, I would give it a thumbs up and recommend it. So, um, also, uh, my next video is going to be on Finnabut, and um, I said that I was going to do a new Pept video, and I still plan on doing that, and I did not forget that. I'm sorry, but uh, I had... It's not hard to get, but I... <coughs> in the in this the particular one that I was getting... Um, the particular stuff that I was getting, I had some technical difficulties in the purchase, so, uh, long story short, I didn't forget about that, so, uh, yeah. Till next time, friends, have a good one.